Hi there everyone, I've got another video featuring um, my cat Penny and so I'm just showing you some of the paper I used. So I used the Heidi Swap September Skies 6x6 pad and the We Are Memory Keepers Love Notes 6x6 pad. Um, this stencil is from Hero Arts, it's a stencil pair and this one is called Confetti Stencil Pair and I'm just uh, using some washi tape to attach it to um, one of my background pieces of paper. Now the medium that I'm going to be using through the stencil is called Pan Pastel, Artist Pastels, and this is a um, um, ultra soft silver. And this is a dry pastel, so it's not one of the sort of um, sort of the oily, greasier ones. This is definitely a dry one. Um, when you touch it, it almost looks like a makeup, like a, a blush or a rouge type product like it's got that sort of dry finish to it which is really nice because it gives a soft finish and it doesn't sort of um, you can go very light with it but um, because it is dry and sort of powdery it does cause me a little bit of a problem later on um, but an easy way to do that is um, if you're working with these a lot and you really like them and you find that to be a problem or if you find it to be a problem that it's smudging too much you can actually buy a fixative which is just a spray that you spray on there and it'll um, sort of hold, almost like a hairspray, hold the product to your page. So um, there is a remedy for that and it's not that expensive. I didn't use it on this page and um, kind of wish I did, but it's not a big deal and I actually show you how I fix it and get around the little problem it caused, but it's a really nice product to try. Um, so this is a picture of Penny um, laying on my bed and when she wants to have her tummy rub she does this little face where she rolls over and sticks her paws out and it's all very sweet um, so I managed to capture that one day and uh, I want to keep it a really sort of bright simple layout so I just decided to go with sort of two main colors which is the navy blue and the pink which is a oh it's a color way that I'm just sort of loving right now um, I did add the silver and a little touch of grey just to soften it up a little bit, but um, it really is about the blue and the pink, the navy and the sort of blush pink. I'm loving that right now. So in the bottom right corner, um, just overlapping the picture a little bit, that is a um, piece that I've cut out from a package of Heidi Swap foil rub-ons and that's the one that gave me a little bit of a problem with the uh, powdery chalk that I'd used on the stencil. So, <laughs> especially after in the last video when I said that I never have problems with rub-ons, you know, knock on wood, right? Um, so whenever I use a rub-on, and I know it's going to be going over two different layers, so whether a photo and a piece of paper or two different layers of paper, I always make sure to really glue um, the very edge of the uppermost layer, in this case the photo, down to the layer below it so that those two layers, if the page bends or flexes, they won't separate and tear the rub on. So you'll see me do that. Um, my hands are actually really <laughs> swollen right now, so you'll see me fiddling with a pair of tweezers. Oh, and there's the cat just casually walking through. <laughs> like, no big deal. Um, so yeah, so you'll see me using tweezers a lot on this project. Um, and the other thing I'll mention is my hands might look really big, but I do um, 8x8 layouts. So it isn't some sort of weird optical illusion. My layouts are um, not a 12x12 12 12 size. So, um, okay, so going back to the, um, the rub-on. So the Heidi Swap it's really nice. You get a sheet of, in this case, it was a bunch of different phrases, all in her handwriting. And it's a rub-on, but it's adhesive rather than a rub-on that's, um, you know, a color or a solid, like you're probably more familiar with and than I was more familiar with. So when you peel off that top layer of um, plastic, you're left with um, the words and they're adhesive. And then you take the foil that comes in the package and you press that over top and just rub it over with your finger. The foil sticks to the adhesive of the rub-on, and when you peel that off, you've got a very smooth, uh, low-profile, foiled sentiment. Um, I think she has ones that have images as well. So it's a really nice product. Um, the package that I bought, uh, like I mentioned, has different sentiments by her, um, and it came with a sheet of 
gold foil. I actually wanted to use silver to kind of work a little bit better with the grays and the silver um, pastel that I had used in the background. So I didn't use the gold and I used a piece of silver foil that I had bought. Um, I believe it was the Deco brand um, that you can just get at Michael's. So nothing really fancy. I just wanted a different color. Um, so I think what caused the problem for me was that dry pastel. So because I didn't use a fixative on it, the pastel is powdery and the rub-on, because they're so thin, there isn't a huge, you know, it's not like a glue dot where you've got sort of this sort of substantial amount of adhesive. Um, with the rub-on you've got a really sort of thin layer of adhesive, so having a clean surface to put it on really makes a difference. And the dust and the powder from that um, pastel that I used through the stencil, I think it was a bit too much on the page and a bit too concentrated where I was putting her, her, her phrase. And so it didn't stick well in a couple of places. So, um, I had to go over it a couple times with my burnishing tool that I use for it, um, and I finally did get most of it to stick, um, but in the process I kind of, you know, missed a little bit here, kind of peeled up a little bit there, so it wasn't perfect, um, but you'll see a little bit later on in the video um, that what I do is I actually used some ultra fine glitter, and it's by Glitter Ritz good product. I absolutely love it. It's the softest, velviest, velviest, velvetiest glitter I've ever seen. Um, and what I did was I took some of their opaque microfine glitter in Stardust, which is a silvery color, and I put that over the areas where the foil just didn't take as well as I wanted it to. Um, so it's not the sharpest crispest, <laughs> crispiest, no crispest, most crisp, um, sort of phrase, at, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, but it fills in the little gaps, and, um, because it's all reflective and the glitter is glittery, it sort of, it all worked together, and it's actually not anything that, in my mind, is all that noticeable. It happened in such small little places that you can't really notice it, and, uh, with the polka dot background, and um, the silver from the stencil, it all kind of just in a happy way muddles together and the mistakes are hidden, which gotta love when that happens because there's always something unexpected that happens when you're being artistic and crafty, right? Um, so there I am just um, pushing the glitter around on the adhesive and with the glitter it's you sprinkle it onto an adhesive um, and then to get a really smooth finish on it and make it look velvety, you just burnish it with your finger and it gives this really, really, really beautiful finish. So I'll do another project um, using the glitter ritz because it's something that I like to use a lot, but um, it sort of helps me cover a mistake in this case. So right now I'm just playing around with some uh, little stickers that I got from a Teresa Collins um, 4x4 sticker pad. Uh, there's some label stickers, there's some hearts, uh, just looking at the pad here, um, and she's also got stars and some little phrase stickers. The phrases are love this, keep this, note this, and know this, and it's all in shades of, let's see, a uh, pale, a mid-tone, and a deep blush, and with gold foil accents. So played around with where to put those, and I did the very sort of, <laughs> I say traditional, but I think it's sort of the, the secret to a layout that uh, a lot of us rely on, and that's the three points of interest forming a triangle, so the visual triangle. So I've got one to the left of the photo, top right, and bottom right, and um, I go to it because it's probably easy and sort of foolproof. Um, and yeah, I find it, maybe it's because it's easy, I find it relaxing. I can kind of play with um, the different embellishments and different colors, but I don't have to um, focus too much on the sort of logistics of proportion or ratio or that sort of thing. So it's, um, 
yeah, it's just a it's straightforward, simple, um, easy go-to formula for me. So what I was doing there was putting down some, um, <laughs> and she's back. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Um, sometimes she needs a little encouragement. Sometimes she'll stand right where you're working. So, um, before that, I put down some um, glitter stickers. Uh, the silver ones were by Stickabilities, which is, I think, a Hobby Lobby store brand. I'm actually in Canada, so we don't have Hobby Lobby here. But whenever we go to the States, we make um, a trip to Hobby Lobby and Joann's. And, yeah. So... I think it's a Hobby Lobby store brand, but they're really pretty. And then um, the pink glitter circles, that's actually just a pink glitter washi tape that I have that I punch circles out of. And then I'm just adding some um, really small sequins and sort of a pearl white finish. And then the other ones are sort of a, hmm, I think it's called sand, but it's sort of an orangey, coppery color. And it's just a color that goes really well with um, pennies for. So yeah, I guess that answers the question if I match my embellishments to my <laughs> subject matter. Yeah, and they're both by Pretty Pink Studio. So they're about hmm, maybe about half the size of sort of your standard sequin, which um, because I do the 8x8 eight eight layouts, it's perfect to have something a bit smaller. And it's also a really nice size to have for cards or for Project Life um, albums. It's a like Adele says, sometimes it's hard to use those really big enamel dots or really big embellishments, so I like having the smaller sequins. And I just put them on with glossy accents, and I have the same fight that everybody else does, and I have no secret for it. Sometimes it seems to work, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I can use a needle to sort of unclog it, sometimes I have no idea what's happened and I can spend 20 minutes trying to get it unclogged I'm gonna have to try and find one of those um, what do they call them? the fine point nozzles I think um, and get one of those because in the videos I've seen people who have those seem to have fewer problems so I think I'm gonna have to see if I can find a place online to get them I haven't seen them in any of the stores here so but yeah I use glossy accents I don't have any matte medium. I know people have mentioned that the matte medium is nice because it dries um, and it leaves a, a matte finish. But for sequins, um, I've never really been too worried about that just because the sequins already have a bit of a shine, so I figure it'll all get hidden in there anyways. <laughs> and um, now I'm just stamping some X's and O's with some gray ink, and um, it's actually a stays on gray ink. I think it's dove gray. And um, yeah, I didn't need to use a stays on for this project, but it's just a really nice gray ink that I have. Um, gray is one of those colors that there's so many shades of gray and this one just really worked well with the layout. And then I decided to stamp it all over, so I'm tucking it in little corners. And then I'm just using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to sta staple, I'm going to stamp the date just um, over to the side. And what I'm doing is I'm covering up the photo so I can stamp the year first, and then I'm going to move um, the paper over so that I can stamp the day and the month above uh, the year because I didn't want it in a long horizontal line. There just wasn't room for it. So that's my project. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'm having so much fun in the group. Um, everyone's being so friendly and it's so cool seeing everyone trying different techniques, trying their own videos. This is new for me so this is sort of a fun way to learn something new and enjoy the hobby in a different way. So I'm really grateful for everyone, and I hope you enjoy, and um, yeah, happy scrapping.